welcome to season two, episode one of Burley. Yar, Baz. And a teat. <laughs> I didn't get as much vibrato on that. That was kind of just one flat note. Bit flat, but it was still good. I, the commitment was there. Uh, we are back. <laughs> Burley and a teat has returned for a second season of Bite Size now. Some slightly smaller, reduced jolly podcasts but the content and quality that you've come to expect is still there <laughs> oh, God. the last episode was like which we recorded a year and a bit ago which you've just released was us rambling for an hour and a half about uh yeah. was it just absolute garbage just nonsense. <laughs> yeah i couldn't even say the word quality with a straight face <laughs> quality is in just literally just Oh, we forgot we were recording and just had a conversation. <laughs> exactly. Which I, I believe, Burley, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was the premise of Burley and a T. It was I suppose, the, yeah. yeah. We, were, yeah, yeah, we yeah. were always having these conversations and we thought, why not share them? You get some tens and then you get the occasional two. <laughs> yeah. The show is basically <laughs> the equivalent of me going, oh, look, a bin. Oh, something shiny. Oh, something shiny. Oh, something shiny. Which describes how I handle like watching TV shows and playing games. It's just, oh, a it shiny does, thing. I'm going to go. It does, it does somewhat uh, summarize. I wonder if you've made any progress in the last year plus on any of that stuff that you said that you do that you probably uh, haven't attempted. I am, I'm on season three of Falling Skies. So that's a season more than I've done. But you were on season three eight, 18 years ago. I was starting season three and I'm now in it. Are you actually watching Falling Skies? I'm Sky? in it, yeah, absolutely. I watched the last episode I watched was last week. Yeah. Taken you so many years. Taken too long. Game of Thrones, let's not discuss it. Um, <laughs> and Falling uh, Skies came first, I think. I know, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and but, you know, stuff like, you know, all of the Marvel shows, I'm up to date. Mandalorian, Oz. obviously Oz. up to date. Um, just feeling good about watching stuff that's come out recently that's where i'm at burley that's where i'm at <laughs> <laughs> um which by the way brings us into this brand new episode of burley and a teat this kickoff episode of our new season we wanted to dedicate this first episode to kind of catching everyone up on what the last 12 months have been like you know while the world's been on fire while we've been either working from home or having to navigate the logistics of the pandemic and also bring back one of our absolute classic segments. And that segment is Twinge Minevers. Yar! Twinge Minevers. Now, did you, did you sneak a little yar in there? I may have wanted to get in with a yar. And uh, it doesn't matter. It went, no one will notice. <laughs> it's been recording it. It's, nah, fine. it's fine. This when I had this idea of doing the video version as well as the audio, it was for moments like that. Yeah. Just keep going. Just keep it moving. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Just keep, keep Burley, it rolling. Twinge Manevers is all about what is tickling our fancy. And it could be something in entertainment. It could be something in life. You know, it's whatever's going on right now that's really exciting us. So right now, Burley, you know, lately, what has been twinging your nethers? I'm going to bring it back to uh, the core value of the show, which is gaming. Okay. I'm keep it on the gaming, on the gaming level. I think. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to detour and and talk about uh, uh, peanut butter and jelly this time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm. You know, uh, uh, so video games. Yeah. So I haven't really been playing that many variation of video games. Uh, at all, really, through lockdown, we've stuck to some old favourites, if anything, haven't we? On our, sure, yeah. On our That's sessions, like, um, we've been going back to stuff from like 2015. You know, yeah. like some old bangers. So I'm looking forward to some new, some new blood, some new, uh, some new graphics to wrap my eyeballs onto. <laughs> and uh, and you already probably know where I'm going with it. And that is uh, Battlefield 2042. Yes, indeed. Which has been a series that is a, sort of a staple amongst us as sort of a friendship gaming group. Um, however, I feel like the last couple Battlefields have been, you know, certainly five. We played one for a bit, but Battlefield Five was a was a miss 
for one, us. One, one was a bit of a novelty when it first came out. We sure. all got into that. But really, I think when Battlefield 4 came out, I played that exclusively for like a year. Yes. Because that yeah, came same. out with the play- I think that came out with the PlayStation 4 when that released. And I think I bought it with the PlayStation 4 when I bought my first PlayStation 4. And I just didn't buy any other games. I just played that for a year and basically played it online with you, Chits and Rocco. Yes. Weekly, uh, even around each other's houses and everything. We splurged that game to death. So much so that I know that at one point I had to go into my captures on PS4 and clear room because all I had on my hard drive was clips of you dying. Honestly, <laughs> just, there's so many like video captures. Like when we first played that game, we were just <laughs> constantly video capturing like deaths and montages and these really <laughs> weird things I, that we did. I, I, and it I, comes I, up I, on my Facebook. No, exactly. To this day, always comes up. Yeah. Right? And, and I, I think, think this this thing many like eight years ago, <laughs> and I just when I see it, I have to play it. Well, I don't really go on Facebook anymore, but when I did. It's just a game that I feel like, even if it isn't as good as what everyone else wants it to be, it'll be good enough for us. Yes, for that I agree. Nostalgic, yeah. uh, going back to eight years ago when life was simpler. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, and I wanted to ask you this because we've discussed the burly death montages that I've created over the years. And I think what I'm looking for is the burly Super death cut. A super cut. <laughs> yeah, the ultimate. The movie. Three hours yeah, montage. Yeah. No, what, uh, what I want from murdered. you is I, I'm, I want a bit of burly insight into this. I want to see if you can help me understand why you dying in video games is funnier. It's my uh, actual reaction to my own death. <laughs> yeah. In, in your ears. When, when I get taken out, I use, it'll be something like it might even be something as as as, as placid as just like you'll Let's see wait. me just get blown Let's into pieces. It. Let's and reenact thrown it. Thrown across the screen, and I'll okay. just go. Okay. Oh, so God. okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be the sniper, right? And I'm gonna shoot you, and I'm you're gonna react like you would when we were playing the sessions. All right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Got him in my sights. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> JT, happen again. <laughs> but with more ragdoll. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of a combination of like weariness and then like genuine surprise. <laughs> You're like, oh, well, the, why did that happen? It's, a first, <laughs> it's an FPS. Oh, I just got, oh, I'm back but, in the game. Oh, for audio again. listeners who will have wondered why we went silent. I mimed a sniper rifle while Burley was a foot soldier, and then he took a headshot as realistically as he could in the medium that we're in right now. You know, <laughs> we're doing the best we can. Um, I, I know that for me, it is definitely the, it's your one-liners. That's my side of it. Because you will yeah. say things like that. With, oh, I s- stepped on a landmine. <laughs> it's always it's always the literal description of what well, happened. Yeah, guys, I just walked past the window, my head got blown off. Just don't walk through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. Just like whilst with my head just sprayed all over the all over the wall. Ah oh, guys. Claret. Yeah. You might want to give that area a miss or why were you covering me? Yeah, <laughs> that's and that's the other one. It's the business of where's my revive? <laughs> I think that's so what that, it is. That's the experience I'm hoping 2042 kind of like harkens back to a little bit. I'm I'm hoping that they've continued the emphasis on squad play in oh, that. Yeah. Because that to me is battlefield. Like I know you can obviously there's obviously there's team-based modes and things like Call of Duty, but I always feel like Call of Duty's play style is more geared to lone wolf. It's more yeah. geared to kind of going off and racking up your score as opposed to playing the objective and and it, it, does, it just doesn't matter if you get killed because you're back in the game in three seconds. Yeah. Uh, whereas Battlefield punishes you a bit more between sort of fatalities, makes you play a little bit more, a little bit more cautiously. Yeah. And uh, it requires a little bit more skill as well, um, just because of the environment is more engaging. So you just it's just generally a, 
a more fun game, isn't it? There's more people, there's more opportunity for mayhem. And uh, yeah, and, and like I said, I just feel like, regardless, it's going back to like, I love Battlefield 3 when that came out, and then tw- and then Battlefield 4, and this is, feels like it's going back to those two, when it, when it was in its prime, those two games. It's got that yeah. same vibe. And I'm just hoping that, you know, we're going to pick that up and I can see us playing that till uh, 1 a.m. on a Friday night. There's, there's going to be some late night end of week sessions on that for sure. I, I genuinely, I gem, I'm going to get texts from Gemma saying, when are you coming to bed? Like, genuinely. Here's something I've experienced. Drew will be up in three hours and you haven't come to bed yet. <laughs> you need to stop. Yeah, um, like, this is, why aren't you here? This is something I've, I, one thing that's happened to me in lockdown, and because obviously we've stayed connected, just, you know, playing games online and everything, is lockdown forced me to face my own hypocrisy and that oh, was what well, i'm i'm in my dining room right now that's kind of it's dining room slash office slash cat's toilet that i have in here right now <laughs> and uh kit obviously she's watching a show in the lounge right that's just literally through there we've got our archway into our dining room right now when she's in there and she's watching something i with my noise cancelling headphones will be talk- getting really excited because I'm playing with Burley and the boys and getting a great time. <laughs> and I get louder and louder, you know, I'm saying, is there an enemy over? Like I get really excited. <laughs> and then, so, so what Kit will do is rather than tell me to just shut the fuck up, right? She will she should just throw stuff at you. <laughs> just start, like a banana. Just you start, need yeah. to get a like uh, a nerf gun. Yeah, or something. Just, <laughs> so she could just dart dart you in the back of the head whenever you get a bit too yeah. loud. I reckon that would or just be like actually... lob a cat at me. <laughs> I now just... I now have a a, a a wedding present for her. Now it's just something to shoot you at and a, a nerf shotgun. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so this is what she does, though, right? Is she, because she's so lovely and polite and doesn't want to interrupt my fun, even though I'm objectively ruining hers because she's trying to watch something and I'm getting louder. What she'll do is she'll just turn the TV up a bit, right? Makes sense. <laughs> Found me out because she's boosted that up. But then here's the hypocrisy. Here's what I've had to face for myself and what I'm like. I'll turn around to her and I'll go, babe, sorry, could you just turn that down a little bit? It's a bit loud. <laughs> and I, I realise, what, what am I doing? <laughs> and, you know, the end result, which I think is pretty amicable, is she watches TV upstairs now. Yeah, I mean, if I did that to Gemma, I'd get a slap in the face. There's no <laughs> denying that. But she'll just, she's just always taking herself upstairs just because she knows that she can't. That's, yeah. that's where Kit's at. And I, I do want to give a shout out to my nearly wife getting married next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, Matt. And she is just immensely supportive of all of my mad gaming fun. And like, eight days until you become a Mr. and Mrs. Yeah, man. It's right around the corner. And she's... Eight. Yeah, she, she is, you know, hats off to her. She's tipped up with stuff like this. She's really generous with, like, supporting me and the stuff that I'm interested in. So um, Basically allowing you to be a teenage boy or whenever you, <laughs> whenever you want. Uh, so, um, so for you, Burley, <laughs> your, your nethers have been twinged because you're looking for some fresh gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's close. It's close. It's close. Some fresh social, fresh social gaming. That's yeah, what it's all sure. about. I think the social element is the bit that I'm looking... Not so much the game... But the social element that comes around it and the experience that we're going to have as a as a four of, or, or whoever else joins in on it, but often, as a core four, we're going to just have. I feel like we're just going to have some merry times. I agree. Uh, yeah. For some uh, long, it's going to have some longevity, and uh, I'm just looking forward to that that chapter in my gaming life. That's, yeah, that's for sure, man. I I know that like sometimes for us the gaming is almost incidental. It's like that's the reason we might be meeting up. But actually, it's because we get that's the thing that's facilitating us having a great time. It, it, and just it's enjoying it's each the Bantosaurus Rex in the room that uh, is is sometimes what it's all about. Is absolutely <laughs> no, for it? sure, yeah. Um, random antics and just you know that's that's the that's the thing that I, I I enjoy probably the most. And then you know, gaming almost comes second to that. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I'm looking forward to. That's what's twinging me right now. I've got tingles thinking about it, mm. uh, and I can't wait. So yeah. So obviously your tw- your nevers are being twinged twinged by something as well. Why don't you share with the, the three people that will be tuning in what those what that they might are. be? <laughs> and two of them are me pressing F five. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I'll tell you what's twinging my nevers, uh, and that is uh, after all these delays and 
pandemic related problems that have been faced with getting the, our, my, my wedding off the ground, you know, I'm finally getting married next week. The thing that's twinging my nerves is the things that have come together in the lead up to it. Um, oh, I, I was about to say, if this wasn't a wedding related thing right now, you were definitely going to get a, a dark gun at the back of the head. I, I, <laughs> I would show myself out. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really um, looking forward to this uh, thing. The, a few days after our wedding, this game comes out. <laughs> The Sorry, back what? for blood beta was... <laughs> um, so, Had it not been that, yeah. you would have been judged. <laughs> um, it, on, honestly, for me, it's been the the, the lead up of things as, as plans and, and stuff has come together, building towards next week. And also, I think this is where I, I wanted to give a specific... I kind of wanted to acknowledge the nethers of mine that have been twinged by kind of twinging yours a little bit. I want to twinge your nethers a little yeah, bit. Yeah, my nethers are always twinged. Yeah, and that's and I'll t- I'll t- I shall tell you for why. Um, because I was thinking about, you know, we, we did my stag last weekend, uh, ably organised by yourself, of course. Um, mm. And the thing that's really twinged my nethers has been, it was literally exactly what I was hoping for. Literally. Uh, it wasn't, you know, let's go and catch hepatitis in Amsterdam. Right. It was <laughs> it was genuinely just all right, let's book this jolly bar, go for some good food, get some nosh later on, you know, a late night five guys, and yeah. have a great time assembling all of our sort of disparate friendship group together for the first time, really. So yeah. all the links together. Yeah. Um and just enjoy each other's company and have the conversation be the thing that made the the night and the day enjoyable yeah uh, that for me was like tick 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 that was that was everything a nice, that was a nice afternoon on. evening that wasn't it it was nice yeah and what was it what was good for me was uh i didn't have a massive hangover either no no <laughs> I, I didn't, didn't have a hangover. <laughs> and, you know i was and i was really aware of like you know like mike traveled down from wales man like dedication unbelievable that was pretty epic, that was pretty um, epic. so cool I realised though, and we haven't talked about this yet, that's why I was saving it for this, for this first episode, is, uh, you know how famously I, I can hold my drink? You know, I'm pretty yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. good at that. And, and there have been attempts made by the Burley family, both yourself and your brother, to attempt to break through my metabolism. The concern was, well, I'm 32 now, won't that... Well, that's what I was hoping. I was hoping that your right. metabolism would have uh, eased off and a I, bit. And I was... I was good. You know, I, I didn't have a hangover or anything like that. I wasn't like stumbling through streets trying to get back to Houston. None, none of us were really, were Not we? All, right. But I'll tell you something that happened. And I've realized that this is, I think, how my body processes drink when it's like too much. Right. And I have evidence for this from when I was at university as well. Right. The closest I've ever been to being absolutely ruined it was my 19th birthday at university, and I, I literally slept for 16 hours. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I woke up at like 4 p.m. the next day, and I had no hangover, but I, I, I regenerated like a butterfly. Like I, I was gone for like almost a full day of unconsciousness, right? When we hit the stag, at about, I want to say about half 10, quarter to 11, I felt like in my head I was having a hangover. <laughs> but you you were nodding off on the train. I, I was yeah, I was nodding off a little bit yeah. on the train. But here's the other <laughs> thing, dude. I basically went blind. <laughs> what do you My mean? vision, I couldn't see. <laughs> I like I maybe my short distance obviously was fine, but anything more than like you know other side of a room was so blurry. And I think that was my body. That's how my body deals with it. It shuts down a vital organ to prevent me from embarrassing myself and being pissed. So your thing was basically your long vision yeah. was slightly deteriorated and that's how it, it was early. I couldn't see, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, the, you know, the Houston, you know, the train boards, right. Yeah. And you were like, ah, oh, there's, there's another train in like 40 minutes, whatever. It's a, it's a 23 35. I was trusting you. I literally, <laughs> I couldn't read <laughs> at all. But I wasn't, really? you know, I wasn't making a tit of myself. I wasn't stumbling around. I wasn't yeah, no, no, dumb no, no. shit. You weren't behaving in any sort of way. Nope. Other than <laughs> having a little shut the eyes on the train like Rocco did, I was right as rain, except I was nearly blind. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> so you, you probably had a li- you, I made sure you had a bit more than me. Sure. As yeah. as the as the stag. Yeah. Uh by getting the strongest shots I could find. Yeah, and just again, for you. in terms and, of my uh, like in terms of my motor control, like my functionality, I was all good. But if you'd said to me, JT, watch out for that bus, I'm dead. Like it's, I was <laughs> just gone. I don't know what happened. And then the, I woke up the next day, no hangover, vision returned. I fucking hate you. I... That's just not fair. <laughs> but I, I, if I, yeah, if I have too much, I die for three days. Okay, so is yours is yours an extended recovery? Yeah. yeah. Right. How were it's, you after the night, though? Yeah, it was all right. I actually, I felt more crap because I'd eaten that Five Guys, to be honest with you. I had I'll a Five what, Guys hangover. The, the pre-sleep poo. I couldn't get it out, to be honest with you. It was only a little one. <laughs> I saved it for the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit dehydrated. <laughs> oh, man, well, yeah, man. You just shit out all your hydration. I was a bit um, dehydrated. Yeah, I felt more bad because of the like the greasy burger had a bit more. This is this is how older we are, isn't it? It's like, dude, it's, yeah. it's like, oh, I feel more crap about that food. The food at the end of the night is what did it. Oh, Furley, I've never gone on a night out and instantly needed glasses. <laughs> Hasn't happened. I mean, I'll take that, but uh, we'll we'll work on that another day. I reckon if we if we were to extrapolate the arc of this. Of like where this is going, We're, I'm gonna like, I'll be like the Winter Soldier <laughs> by the end of it. Like I have like a bionic arm because I'm, my limbs will just stop working. <laughs> um, you nut job, honest. Well, yes. there we go. Good That's times. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Burley, I can't to, think. Uh... I can't think of a better way to wrap up the first episode of season two of Burley. Your bears and a teat. That's better. And it's also, you're also rubbing your teeth. This helped. You were doing I think, that. yeah, mi- miming some rubbage definitely helped that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. We're going to be back hopefully sooner than a year. That's the dream. Um, ironically, probably not next Friday because it'll be my wedding. <laughs> so, um, well, we should do a wedding special. A wedding special. I'd be I feel up like shooting a wedding that special. Maybe like earlier in the week. And we kind of pick yeah, a day yeah, yeah. And, and we'll, we'll do a wed- we've just we've just decided there's going to be a oh. wedding special. Cool. Also, for the for those that rem- I'm still touching my face, I survived COVID touching my face literally constantly. <laughs> that needs to be the final image of this. <laughs> I'll I'll end on that. Don't worry. <laughs> Done. Well, uh, ladies and gents, thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you next time. And Burley. Once again, a trademark sign off, please. Ooh, ah. Cue banjo music. Oh.